What's one thing that you're probably not doing enough if you want to feel happier? Hey guys, my name is Gina Sue and I am a certified life coach. Today I want to talk about a simple, simple thing that I wasn't doing enough of, that my friends weren't doing enough of, and my clients definitely were not doing enough of if we all want to feel happier more often. And that one thing is celebrate. Now, it's a little bit of an unconventional tip for those who are new to self-development, but if you have a background or have heard about positive psychology and positive mindset, then you know celebrating is so, so, so important. Now, it's as simple as if something good happens, you jump up and down, you take some time to really acknowledge that this wonderful thing happened and really put it into your system and your mindset and just give it some of your attention because most of the times we know that we constantly have negative thought patterns going through our mind. If there are, let's say, 10 positive comments on your Instagram post, let's say, and you got one really mean one, you're probably gonna laser focus and think about that one mean comment for the rest of the day or the week. And so it's really important for us as human beings to know that we have a negative bias. It is in our biological build to focus on those things which causes us stress and anxiety but also is back then what gave us our fight or flight ability to survive from a tiger you know jumping out of the bushes but nowadays we don't have all of those complications we have internet and human interaction and social media and work that gives us stress and anxiety so it's important for us to manage that and to focus on the good things so number one make sure that when something good happens Give yourself at least one minute to just be proud of yourself. Think through all the hard work you put into it, who you can thank or be grateful for this wonderful opportunity or result happening, or do a little dance, eat a little bite of cake. Other simple ways to celebrate is, you know, sometimes I buy a little candle and I'll light it at night and read for a little bit as my moment of celebration. You don't always have to be eating things or buying things to celebrate, but maybe if you do have a candle at home, it's like, you know, putting a bath together or just, you know, watching your favorite TV show and just enjoying that wholeheartedly and make sure that that action item is because you're celebrating something good that you did. So I won't make this tip too technical because I just want you to take it and run with it. Anytime anything good happens, be sure to celebrate and give some momentum and energy and gratefulness to that item. And also, if you're having a bad day, you can always celebrate something that happened yesterday, last week, last year, or if you wanna scratch all of that, you can also be grateful anytime. It doesn't have to have some amazing, life-changing good news attached to it. You could just be grateful that you have a roof under your head or a pet that loves you or the fact that you have clean water to drink and access to food, unlike a lot of other people on this planet. I hope this tip was helpful. Please go out there and celebrate and enjoy because that's what builds happiness for all of us humans. So enjoy this tip, go out there and celebrate. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next week for another self-development tip from your trusty YouTube life coach. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week.